What's up, YouTube? I'm Jack Sullivan of Tech Reviews You Want, and I'm here with a review of a GoPro Hero 2. Check it out, guys. So you guys, this is the GoPro Hero 2, and not the GoPro Hero 3, but I'm going to be explaining in this video completely in depth of why it's not worth it to upgrade if you already have this camera. As you can see, it does have a micro USB charging port, a 3.5 millimeter microphone jack, and a TV compatibility jack I don't know and of course it does have its SD card um, slot so it does not have any internal memory of its own and you will need an SD card class 6 or higher and there is a non waterproof backing so that's when you're on land and you don't need your camera to be waterproof and that's the back for when you're in the water and you need your camera to be waterproof and you can also buy a floaty thing to go on the back of it as you see here so that it won't float to the bottom of the ocean or wherever you are and those are the two backs together and of course you have our camera right here we're gonna go ahead and look at some test footage So as you guys just saw, this camera does shoot in some great video quality. Um, nothing, of course, you know, that a DSLR would shoot, but it is a very, very small and compact camera, as you can see it right there in its case. And um, you can just go ahead and attach something right there, screw it in, and um, you're good to go. You can put it on your helmet, as I did. And, um, you know, you're good to go. Uh, it ha has a resolution of 11 megapixels. And um, when it takes, it also does take uh, pictures. And it only shoots JPEG um, files. It does not shoot RAW, which I was kind of bummed about. But, you know, it, you're going to get what you're going to get for, you know, like, you know, a one inch thick camera you're not gonna get something absolutely amazing but as you guys saw the video quality is pretty darn good um it is nothing you cannot compare this to you know a Nikon D4 because they're just not in the same ballpark they're not meant for the same thing this is for something to be put on your helmet and I think that this is probably one of the best um things of its kind and uh it is small compact i like this best out of um all small um little cameras that you can stick on your helmet or something but that is just my opinion and it is center weighted and um it is hdmi compatible which is what you see right here, I'm going to go ahead and take this camera out of its case so I can 
let you see that for yourself. Now, here is the HDMI slot right there. That's the little port right there. And then, of course, you've got the SD card slot right there. And that needs a class 6 or higher SD card, as I said before. And, um, it has an optical sensor type of CMOS, which is pretty darn good. And it does shoot in full 1080p at 30 frames, or at 120 frames per second. Sorry about that. So, 1080p at 120 frames per second. It doesn't get very much better than that, and you can slow it down a lot. And, um... You know, I'm going to go ahead and, and roll some footage after this video of uh, slow motion and showing you how good the quality of that is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it over to my camcorder on my desk and I'm going to give you more of a close-up on this camera and some of the accessories maybe of you know, some of the accessories that do come with it. So thanks, and let's send it over to me with the other camera. So you guys, as you can see, we do have the camera and the waterproof case. And I'm going to show you the back right here. It just opens up like this. You're just going to want to unhook that right there. So you just go like that, pull this up and it releases very nicely and you can just go ahead and take your eight your GoPro Hero 2 and slide it in right there as so now close it hear it click and there you go there is your GoPro Hero 2 to turn it on we're gonna go ahead and press this and hold it down Oh dear, I don't have, oh there we go, I thought I didn't have any battery in there, but I do, okay, so, we're going to go through all the options, that's camera mode, that's a mode where you can actually take 10 pictures in one second, which is very, very useful at some points, that is for a camera timer if you want to take a um, picture every half a second, every second, every five seconds, every ten seconds, every thirty seconds, or every minute, which is pretty cool, and I do like that feature, but I don't find myself using it a lot. Maybe with some other people that go snorkeling or something that don't want to take full-on video, they can just use this, and that would be very useful to them. Now, we're going to keep going. And that, of course, is a power. See, if, and settings. We can uh, hop in here, right here. Right there. So, let's see if it can focus. Okay, well, it's at widescreen 1080p for um, 120 frames per second. That has. 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, 30 frames per second at 720, and 60 frames per second at 720. So, this is a great, great, great high speed camera. So, I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and we're just going to go through. And now we're going to go ahead and exit, and now we're back at video mode. This is a great camera. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and show you how this baby works. So, of course, as I said before, we have a micro USB charging port. We have a microphone jack if you would like to um, record some audio. Uh you know, with a um, external mic, but the thing is, with this case, it's not, there's no hole there, so you cannot do it while it's in the case, which, 
you know, it doesn't really make sense that you would be using this camera out of its case because you don't want to use this camera as, like, you know, to film a movie. You want to use this camera when you're riding your bike or skateboard or, um, you're surfing. Um, that is really the main use for this camera. I'm going to go ahead and power it off by holding this. So there we've go. There, we, there we've go. Okay. So there we've got the um, uh, HDMI uh, cable jack. So that way you can just hook hook that into there, and then hook the other end into your TV. And uh, there you go. You got it hooked up to your TV. That'd be pretty sweet. And um, there, of course, you've got your SD card slot as I said before, a class 6 or higher, and, um, this is just for if you want to put, like, a backpack on it, like a, um, extra battery backpack, so you can just, it just slides on right there, or a Wi-Fi backpack, um, that is really useful, and you can stream it onto, like, you can stream it live in a Wi-Fi area to whatever you want, you can even stream it live to YouTube if you want, so, there you go, and that is the close-up of the HD Hero 2, and I'm going to send it back to me at the webcam for some last words of this camera's review. So, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll send it over to Jack with the final words of the HD Hero 2 review. Thanks for watching. So you guys, to wrap up this review, um, I'm just going to say that I love this camera. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10. I know I gave a lot of those, but what could have made it better, I think, is to have a screen on the back so you can see more of what you're filming. But it is very hard to do that in a very small body that the GoPro Hero 2 is in. And I don't think that... Um, that will be happening anytime soon because of its compact size. And um, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.